can. Uh, let me see what you get. Hmm. Okay, you get. You get sixteen copper pieces. He doesn't seem to be as wealthy and properly paid as that guy. Oh, what did I? What did I just mess up? What did you mess up? Whatever was a very top item name, I deleted by accident. Like I said, I have not. I'm not tracking your items. Okay, I'll just. Uh, I'll sixteen. You said. I'll just go with it back through the video and see what it was and retype it in later. Okie dokie. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I'm trying. I forgot. I to was like, oh, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can do that. Go ahead. So, Moonchild, you step into this room and obviously you spot a body on the ground of a woman. There seems to be blood stains splattered against the one side wall. Yeah, yeah, if you want to loot her body. Um, okay, so you've managed to find yourself 19 copper pieces off this woman. Um, Ben. I loot this one. Ben. I can't hear okay. you from over there. You're in the other room. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, Ben. Um, you loot the body and you get. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You get one platinum piece. This appears to be um, a guard leader of some kind. He has a very strong insignia on his um, armor. Okay. Ben? Ben. Uh, sorry. Yeah. What? Maybe. What are we getting? Uh, how are we gonna get the body back? Um. You can't just eat him out the window. Why was that my idea? I know that was your idea. We can, uh, uh Becca, someone could. Do you could want to do anything? Do you want to so, do looting? As well? Someone could jump back down from the, the, because the staircase is broken. So we could jump back down and we lower it into each other. Just a bunch of dead people. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if you want to loot bodies and stuff, sure, but yeah, they are uh, essentially a bunch of dead people. I would like. Who, um... Do any of them look wealthy? Um, go <laughs> ahead and roll an investigation check. If you want to kind of, like, look around at... I would like bodies. to jump across to the other side. Why? Okay. Because there are more bodies over there. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. So, Deco with an invest nat 20 of investigation... Hey, that's two nat 20s in a row from me. The <laughs> woman that you're standing over looks to be some sort of, um, worker. Um, she has very, like... <laughs> Blue collar clothes, very basic tunics and stuff. I mean, in your current room, that's all you have because that's all you see. Do you really want to fall? In the Plus, she already looted that really body. Do you really want to fall? Oh, in oh the yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> there are no clones in the woman. What about these jumps? The only one I didn't loot is the one I'm standing on, the archer, and um, the ones inside the this, room. This man right here well. seems to have the clothes of a nobleman. Okay. What do I roll to jump? Body. <laughs> Why are you trying to jump? What if you fall and you fall in the middle of the table where everybody is? I have inspiration. Uh, you managed to find. You're gonna use your inspiration on that? Yes. You're stupid. I don't know. I've uh, made. Ben, did you roll your acrobatics or athletics to try to jump over the other side? That's what I was asking you. Which one to roll? Because uh, I'm gonna roll athletics. Um, whichever one you want. Right. Yeah. If I remember correctly, you don't have the strength to make it in one go. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. You managed to yeet yourself and jump to the other side barely managing to catch on oh, you moved you moved the wrong one <laughs> yeah go ahead and move yourself uh, you can't move sorry no that's the thing there i can't yeah because it belongs to you all right you Wait. jump over to the other side and ben you are staring at the decapitated body of somebody you have no idea He's, his body is covered in blood uh can i loot this one yeah, it's a. It looks like a decapitated body of some sort of minstrel or something, like a musician. Um, you managed to find. Okay. 
Nine silver pieces and ten gold pieces. He must have been a very good musician. Nine silver? Nine silver and ten gold pieces. Yeah. Heroes don't stop believing. Um, actually, Ben, as you kneel down and pocket the change, your hand brushes against the blood. Actually, your hand becomes increasingly bloodier, obviously, as you're looting through these bodies. I'm um, digging your hand into the bloody coats of these um, dead people. Go ahead and roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Go ahead, roll constitution I'm trying. I'm... Oh. Okay. Teeter between three and seventeen. Uh, you, you, you get a sense that you should probably wash your hands after this. It's probably not that healthy to be digging through blood like that. Um, otherwise, that's it. You just you're just like oh gross. Am I gonna have to do that check every time I loot, or should I wash my hands like right now? I have no idea. Oh, I do. I, I'm just gonna tell you. Um, then I'm gonna take my water skin and rinse my hands off real quick. Okay, you rinse your hands off. Oh, Ben, Bitch, let me leap was, over there. I have soap. Soap? Oh yeah, he does. Oh, have he does soap. have a soap. Just oh, throw it, yeah. throw it to me. I'm gonna jump. I want to keep looting before Decca gets here, so I'm gonna loot this body. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I looted this body. Um. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Decca, you fly over. You get to about here before you like start to plummet, and you, everyone from below, the Marchikovs watch as a small elf just plummets to the ground. Um, you did. No. That's you should have reached a, your hand out. That's a ten. That's a ten foot drop. Um, <laughs> throw me the soap. You you take one. You go ahead and take one point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, someone throw me up there. Oh fuck it, I'll take the stairs. And, well, you and, can... and after about a couple minutes. Uh, oh, Deca, you can't. The stairs, Hold on, Decca. You can't. There's a the body here's blocking it. That's why we had to go into yeah, the back door. Yeah, that body is jamming um, the door. But, so you can wait over there, and I'll I'll move it in a second. Okay, just go ahead, Ben. Um, or, or who? Uh, also, Mucha, I, are you doing any looting as well? I don't want to just have uh, Ben be the looter. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to try to get the bodies out of here. She okay. wants to move what them out to. Well, like I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I, it feels disrespectful to just throw them off the staircase. Well, we probably shouldn't just leave them there either. What do you mean? I mean, it's. I mean, There's already bodies outside. I feel yes, it might be disrespectful, but they're, they're dead already. Like, like considering everything. I feel like it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, I mean, what am or I you can just wait, and then I'll help you. Yes, I'm done. but I, I, I go, I go back down, and I go on the, on the stairs. So you're on the ground here. Yeah. Okay. Not gonna do anything. Huh? I'm not doing anything other than that. I mean, you said you're gonna move the body, weren't you? I'll help you, yeah, but I want to finish looting. He wanted to give you a chance to do stuff. Did you want to loot any of the bodies? I mean, wait, There's did, more in did here Decca for you. loot anything uh, in here? Decca looted this one. He didn't loot this one. Okay, I guess I'll be back then. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, you managed to find... There we go. 13 copper pieces. I loot this one. Yeah, okay. Nice. Um... As you dig your hand through the body, you you man you find you find a pouch, <laughs> and in that pouch you find yourself twelve gold pieces. And did he loot this other one on the side over here? This one, Ben. Did uh... you do that? Uh, I looted both armored dudes in that side. Yeah, I was, okay, I was so about... looted it. And Deck had looted that one. Oh, okay, empty. gotcha. He didn't loot the one in the middle right here with the archer. I just did, I... Oh, he didn't get the with archer? The no, he didn't get the archer. Ooh, what yeah, kind of bow is that? <laughs> uh, you pick up the bow, it seems to be like an average looking oak, uh, longbow. 
Oh, it's a longbow. Um, it doesn't seem to be destroyed or anything. It's just uh, like a longbow. Can I just take the arrows that he has? Uh, you managed to gather up three arrows. The rest of the arrows seem to be scattered somewhere. Okay. Or like, the rest of the arrows are somewhere else. Can I, um... What did Decca have to roll to see what, if he could tell if this person looked like wealthy or uh, not? Investigation. Investigation. Oh, and, um, or what? You go first. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just rolling now. Uh, I, I wanted to loot the body as well, besides getting the arrows. So I'm guessing I'm down with all the guards and the people that are drinking. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're basically, like, trying to, you know, Am I able to get a drink, or are they all out? Uh, y you can go ask her. I need a drink. That shit hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Had the wind knock the fuck out Man, of me. Yeah. This place is dangerous. Gotta get that fixed. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> we are fresh out of wine. Oh, I think no, we mentioned earlier else? to your dragonborn friend that our wine stocks were quite diminished, and with everything oh, no, that's going was, on, we've that been giving out no, I told all of our wine he to, to do the exact him. same thing that you've offered, which is to feel better after injury. Sorry, we're out. Well, I do have water, though, if you would like a glass of water. Yeah, I'll take a glass of water. Um, and then, yeah, so she goes in the back, comes out with just a tall glass of water. It looks like normal water. Ah, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Ben, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I rolled a five. I'm assuming that's not... Um, you can't really tell. Just from where you're standing, there, there seems to just be a lot more blood over on this side. Um... Uh, you have no idea how to differentiate between which one is wealthy and which one isn't. Who is wealthy and who isn't wealthy? Blood is just kind of like there was a very confused. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. The this look at does this person look familiar? Uh, Lori has the bag of holding. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, to... sorry, Ben. What did you say? Um, does this girl look familiar at all? She doesn't look all bloody like the others. So I'm just curious. Um. No, but as you sort of like lift her and flip her over, you can see that her front is just clawed off. Can't um, push yeah, now. Yes, I didn't want to say it like that. But, uh, <laughs> I leave the, um, the and this guy. She doesn't look like anybody you know. Although, mm, no. That's all right. I wouldn't know no bitch with no titties. You, you double check <laughs> and you look again. And it, it seems to be that barmaid that you guys met. She seems to have worked with them for the March of God. Um, you, you forget her. Do you, do you remember her name? I don't remember a barmaid. No, same. Mm. Well, she's dressed like a barmaid. So they, they pr she probably worked with the March of Cows, maybe a different the, shift or something. The old maybe lady? With the... Okay. I'm going to loot the, 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 the guard here. Guard? Yeah. Um, all right. Give me one second. Cool. And then I'm also gonna move it out of the way so we can get to the, the store. Uh, okay, you managed to find eleven electrum pieces. What? Electrum? Um. Okay. So. I don't even have that on ten. my thing. So ten copper is one silver. Ten silver is one of the like or whatever piece, and then ten of the whatever piece is ten gold or one gold, and then ten gold is one platinum. Yes, I'm aware of that, but I don't have an icon for Electron. It's EP. EP is five. It's halfway between... Uh, oh, I see it. It's it's five silver pieces. Okay, so... <laughs> it's halfway between gold and silver. You found 11. 11 of them. Yeah. Cool. I was using that for <laughs> silver, my bad. And with that, you, you said you wanted to move the... The, the, the guard? Yeah, I move his like legs out of the way so the oh, door no, can be used. You're in the way. Okay, you move him out of the way. Okay. Oh, I open the door as well. Okay, are you entering? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So you enter a completely bloody room. Blood is soaked everywhere and you find the source of all this carnage. It seems to be well, okay, so you spot a guard, you spot two civilian-looking individuals, and you spot the dead body of one of the vampire spawn. You can't really tell which one it is um, at the moment. Uh, it, it's 
the vampire spawns facing straight down. Um, sticking out from its back are like dozens of arrows. Uh, you get a sense that's probably where all the arrows were from the archer. Um, mm -hmm. It just took all these hits and stuff. Um, but it's certainly dead. And this room is completely bloody. As you step in and the smell and stench of blood and death hits you, <gasps> you stagger for a little bit. And I'm gonna need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Sure. I got you, I got you. Wait, I'm gonna use my inspiration. Oh, no. Yeah, use your inspiration. No, I'm gonna get pull it back up. Constitution. Oh yeah, and all of you guys should have inspiration because you guys are cool. So cool. You you throw up. You get a weird urge looking at the blood. It at first it smells awful, but after a few moments, it smells almost natural to you, as if. This was something you could get used to. You feel a little itch racing up and down your arm. And as you kneel down to check the body of this guard, you dig your hands deep into his bloody wounds. And you lift up a handful of his blood and you give a sniff. And for a moment you pause as the rational part of your mind tells you not to. You slowly lick one of your fingers as something pumps angrily in your chest. There's this force, primordial force, and it feels familiar, like something carnal. And then the moment passes, and you're back to yourself. Or are you? And that's what you feel? I feel like I wasted my inspiration, I'm not gonna lie. But, okay. Uh, I mean, I just cause, like okay, I mean. To, no, it's okay, it's okay. I, I leave the bodies. Well, just the guard and the vampire. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> um, the vampire, you can't, you don't find anything on him. Um, can I, um... He, he has nothing. He, it's literally the vampire is just wearing pants. No, fangs. Shoot. I want to try to get the fangs out. The fangs? Okay, go ahead and roll me a... And claws, I guess, check. as well. Whatever, whatever I can get off of them. Nature or medicine check. Up to you. What you say, oh, ben. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear from the DM. I was so excited for things to happen. Um, yeah, so with a nature check of eight, you barely managed to, like, your method is very crude. You're shaking from what just happened. You feel back to normal, sort of, but the smell, for some reason, just doesn't bother you anymore. And you feel okay surrounded by all this blood and carnage. Um, it's almost as if you're on like a, like a Red Bull high. You, you're with shaky hands. You only manage to extract one fang as the rest are sort of like crudely, like cut out and like damaged, like probably not worth anything or useful. So you managed to get one vampire fang. Okay. And then, the uh, guard. Yeah. The guard, uh, let me add that real quick. Oh, you loot goblins. <laughs> Alright, 15 copper pieces. Um, uh, How many copper? Uh, Sorry. Do you, uh, can, do you want to come over and join Ben? Uh, did I ever loot this body? I don't think I did. That's right. Uh, Ben looted that one. Uh, the archer? Wait, I yeah. thought Ben couldn't loot people. No, I, I can loot enemies. But they're not enemies. I've been looting 
innocent people that died. No, I haven't. I've just been looting guards, and the guards were my enemy. <laughs> the guards are everybody's enemy at the moment. Because of the Burgomaster. So as far as I'm concerned, they're enemies in my eyes. Okay, cool. I see how you twisted um... it. <laughs> <laughs> Good thought. We'll see how that pans out for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll like, join. I'm like, that's cool. Ben's been looting a bit. I'm like, I wonder how this is going to play out. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, join, I'll join Ben on the other side since he moved the... Oh, uh, I actually don't think you did loot that archers. My bad. Um, um, yeah, give me one second. Lord. I'm, I'm also going to take the arrows off that guy's back because I want to give it to Moonchild. Uh, most of them are broken. Never mind. Uh, but, <laughs> well, uh, you, no, you managed to salvage like three unbroken just normal arrows um yeah, if you want to add that to your adventure uh lori uh sorry moonchild on that archer's body you find 12 uh copper pieces do we know of a shop nearby where i could buy crossbow bolts uh rem if you remember correctly oh uh yeah it's been a while so sumatra basically said that they don't normally um make crossbow bolts they typically get that made outside the city is there anywhere and he, he didn't reveal his supplier oh. wait sorry say that again is it like possible that someone just has some on hand already like not need to be made i don't know well, I uh, do know, but, like, Deca, <laughs> Deca have... the door here is able to be open now i move the body over oh, we, we you can walk up basically and um i, I wash my hands off again well let's see gives me the soap oh. I'm gonna go in here. Let me borrow that soap, kid. Um, Jekka, you enter this room, okay, and basically you no... see a bloody room Not filled with carnage. Out of the inventory, but just pretend we did. Yeah. It smells awful in here, and you spot the body of a guard, two civilians, and the vampire spawn. Um, in this room, is just blood soaking the walls and the floor. That's um, nasty. But... I want to investigate them all. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> if you want to loot this body, sure. Or do you want to, wait, what do you mean investigate? Like, do you want to see which one's rich or not? Uh, I, I guess, uh, I'll start by looting this, uh, armored man here. I looted uh, that. You find nothing because it's already looted. Okay, this guy? Uh, okay, yeah, with this guy, you find, <laughs> it looks like he has uh... longer legs. <laughs> <laughs> You manage. Oh wait, um, Moonshot, are you going to the other side? I can put you on the other side. Yeah. Uh, you find thirteen electrum pieces. Oh, the first that I've gotten. Yeah. Um, do you want to loot the woman? Yes, I do. You find one gold piece on her. Um, Ooh. Not much, but one gold piece is fine. And while, unlike Ben, while you stand in there in this bloody carnage room, you don't really feel weird about it. I mean, it just. It's a bloody room, it smells, it's bad. You might gag a couple times from the smell and stench, but that's about it. Can I um, see if this guy's got any teeth worth stealing? Uh, ben already <laughs> tried to remove as many of his teeth as you can. If you want, you can roll uh. a nature or a medicine check at disadvantage to see if you can maybe grab some of its claws or something. Ben didn't really do a good job at extracting the teeth. He kind of like cut the jaw off, like kind of like destroyed it. Oh. Yeah, you, you you end up destroying you like as as you're trying to cut through the hand, you basically just end up cracking and like smash like cutting some of the claws, like chipping it and damaging it. You don't really you aren't able to salvage anything. Unfortunately. Okay. All right. Uh, can I loot this body right here? Um, I, I think that. Ben already looted that armored guy. Son of a you bitch. I looted all the armored guys. You can loot the others. Um. Well, I guess I accidentally I looted this guy, but I didn't realize he wasn't an armored. <laughs> I, like I, was like, I only looted the armored one, and I'm sitting here like, okay. Okay, that's what you think. He looks armored. I thought that was chainmail. I literally said he looks like a musician. After I looted him, <laughs> it was too late. You, you can't, just, right, Can I put his items back? <laughs> you want to return the pieces? Yes. 
Okay, from him. From him the, specifically. Was that the you know what? Guy? You know what? I have no idea. You know what, Ben? I'll take that from you. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take Electrum. that. I'm pretty sure that was the Electrum guy. <laughs> Huh? I mean, I'm not gonna give them to you. I will put them back in his pocket, and you are welcome to loot it. Okay. Uh, he had 50. Uh, sorry, not 55. Uh, he had 11 electrum. 55. Okay, Correct. 11 well, electrum. When I now have zero. Back, I'll take it. Okay. He had 11. Yes, 11. Okay. Uh, I also want to loot this body right here too. And okay. then I I lay my hand on him and I'm, I'm like I apologize, my good sir. I thought you were a guard. Sure. <laughs> uh, as you're looting the body, Moonshot out of a corner, like out of your ear, like in your periphery, you see Ben doing some weird thing and then muttering an apology to a body. You're not exactly sure what he's doing, but you do manage to get nine copper pieces from that woman that was stabbed by a bunch of claws. Okay. I mean, if you guys are done with your shenanigans in the <laughs> floor. Alright, we gotta get all these bodies out. Yeah, I wanna help her move bodies out as well to help. Okay, the so let's just, let's montage this. Uh, let's say for the sake of a montage, uh, we, give me one second, I'll, I'll just delete all the bodies. You guys manage to gather up all of the bodies and it takes about an hour to just drag, pull, collect all of it. Oh, oh. crap. I accidentally deleted the map, my bad. Okay. Um, yeah, you managed to collect all of the bodies, um, remove everything, and... Yeah. Uh, Can I loot this body right here? Ben was telling me that it wasn't looted. Uh, Ben? Huh? Sure, you can. Okay. Um, and right. yeah. the blood is still there. Uh, give me one second. Moonchild, you get four copper pieces from that body. The, um... Yeah. <coughs> uh, sorry. I accidentally deleted the, the blood on accident, but... But they are you still guys there. Can basically, basically, yep, the blood is still there. That room is still a complete mess. Um... But other than that... Do you want to bring the vampire body down? It's, that's up to us. Uh... Uh, wait, didn't... Wasn't the last time we uh, fought vampires? You stabbed it with the low with loci and it disappeared. I stabbed werewolves. You think it worked the same? Whatever else was there, what was there? It was, it was something undead. No, they're not undead, as far as I know. Well, no. Uh, okay. I mean, I can try. Well, I mean, so so undead in undead in D and D doesn't mean like they come back to life, like after you kill them. It's like a zombie, like. A vampire is considered an undead, but not undead in the normal sense. Like, it's not like a zombie, you know? Like, it, it won't come back <laughs> if you kill it. But it is, like, immortal and stuff, you know? <laughs> Alright, then I pull it's Loci exactly out and stab it just to be safe. Uh, you right stab in the heart. it with Loci in the heart, and, uh... Well, nothing happens other than the body... Is it still doing radiant damage? As far as I know, yeah, because I haven't changed yeah, it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah, okay. So, the body starts to burn and shimmer for a little bit, but oddly, it does not evaporate. Like. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we're going to have to take this one off, too. Sorry, I re I Ben, take it out. And then huh? I'm like, Ben, take the body. Well, you gotta help me. Why? I mean, why? Why do I have I, to help? I just you? helped you get all the other bodies out. Okay. Alright, we get the last body out as well. Okay, so you get the last body out. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? What is this? Sorry, I'm just moving the blood. Alright, cool. So, yeah, so with another couple minutes, you guys, um, I'm going to transfer you guys down to the bottom floor. You guys managed to get all the bodies out into a pile at the front. I would just say that this is just... The, oh, no. My bad. Sorry. You managed to get the bodies into a pile. I'm just gonna... Uh, you guys can imagine that there's a large pile of bodies out front. Very, very... Unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, you, you managed Burn to carry down all here. of the bodies and throw them into a pile. 
There it is. Bam. Shooting for a pile of bodies. Uh, down Should there, guards, burn? civilians, nobles, mixed in the light. Should we burn them? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, I'm, I'm asking if it's a good idea. As it is it... raining a little bit. So oh, yeah, that's just gonna put the foot back out. Catching a fire might be difficult, but it's um, not like it's storming, so it could still catch. I'm uh, going to wash my hands one last time to put them safe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. And then I hand the soap back to Decker. And then you hand the soap back to Decker. Decker, have me right. some of that soap. So you managed to wash your hands. Um, Yeah, but that feeling from before, it's sticking to your mind. That blood, it was, you kind of liked it. Can it I was... do an investigation check on Ben? What? Okay. <laughs> to do what? Just, are you trying to do... Just, just to see if he's acting like any different. <coughs> ben, are you acting any different? Yes. No, I don't think I am. Go ahead just and roll to, investigation. Just to see if I like notice something. Actually, that would be insight, my bad. That's oh, insight, okay, yeah. okay, sorry. Oh. That sucks because you rolled a twenty-two. I know. Ah, oh, I'm a twenty-three. <laughs> um, Ben. Ben seems normal, but as he was walking down the stairs with you, like coming out, he had a weird pep to his step. Like um, like this was pretty fun to him to see all these dead bodies and blood all over the place. <laughs> and that's what you notice. Okay. I go, I, I go up to get when Ben yeah, go. goes inside the building. I I I go Deca? up to Decca. 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 No, Decca over here. <laughs> do, 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 do. I would have really made a Zelda noise like you talked to an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> Decca, um, let's keep an eye on Ben, okay? I, I feel like there's something off about him. You mean he's dumb? I mean, besides that. But there's something else that's off about him. Let's just try to keep an eye on him. I call Cap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> My boy right there. <laughs> Um, walk in, uh, I want to tell this guy that we got all the bodies out from up top. Uh, that's Erwin, by the way, Erwin. Erwin, yes, Erwin. Um, uh, Erwin goes, Well, my friends, thank you so much. I, well, uh, I don't want to call myself a coward, but what was up there? I didn't want my kids to accidentally see. Go and he kind of, like, looks over at Bray and Brom. It's, it's not a sight that any man... Nor child should see, but thank you so much for helping. Of course, I don't it's... have much gold, but um, he, no, no. he digs into his pouches and he um, he offers, I can offer you 10 pieces for now. The rest mm -hmm. I'm going to need to save to for repairs, and obviously I need to get more wine. No, keep it. Um, you, you didn't ask, you didn't hire us. That was, that was our, our own doing. Right. Of course. Uh, th thank you. Um, and Irina uh, leans forward and goes, um, Erwin, do you think, uh, is there any other place that maybe you noticed? We, we were at the church, did you notice any other place that might be in trouble? Or some place we should check? Erwin looks back and forth at you guys and goes, Well, it's weird, but a lot of, a lot of the people that came in, they said they saw a, Vampire, creature, one of those creatures, head towards the potion stuff. That uh, that that third eye and sundries, with Anya. I don't know why it just head there by itself, but you know I have this weird hunch. It's I don't know, maybe I'm paranoid, but it seems as if you know who had very specific targets in mind when these creatures attacked. But you said you were at the church. And then, and, and, uh, Irina nods. Yes, we were at the church. She looks at you, Ben, Decca, and Moonchild. As if in, a, in like a, should we tell them kind of face? Yeah. And she goes, well, 
you know who arrived at the church and he killed Father Lucian. I'm ready he... for battle. Erwin sits back and goes, Oh dear God, everyone. No, it's worse than we feared. I, I didn't want to think it, but it might be possible that you know who specifically took out <coughs> all the safety nets <coughs> of Balaki. Some of these guards said that one of the vampires headed for the Burgomaster's mansion. I, there's been no news, but if he's killed Vargas, Father Lucian, the potions, and, oh gosh, if they took out the blacksmiths, Sumatras, that's... Balaki's is defenseless. Would have no potions, <clears throat> no holy magics, no, 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 no divinity, no, no new weapons to be made. We're useless. I'm gonna need a moment. And he sits down on the chair. And Irina turns to you guys and goes, Guys, I think we should head to 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 any of those locations. Uh, the, the potion shops. Maybe we should check up on Jazinka's. I, I know the note says that she left and went to families, but that's... Come on, no one just goes to family. That's, she, doesn't that sound weird to you? It does sound a little weird, but I wouldn't blame her wanting to be with her family as well after everything that happened. But how can she just leave so rapidly? We left the the church and immediately headed there. Are you, does That's that not sound wrong? I mean, we can still check. I mean, if... Yeah, I, I just, I had saw the fire here and I thought this was a you know, place no, no, that needed no, to be I, checked oh, out. I, no, I totally agree, Brent, but we should... Well, let's pick a spot. Let's find some place to go and, and check. Let's figure this out. I, this is, um, let's head back to Jerzinkas. This is, this is almost a this is almost another Duhu situation back home. Jerzinkas or well, which can... one's closer? Jerzinkas or the potion shop? Actually, yeah. Go ahead. Because if we're all in my veil and we all come out of it to attack something, yeah. Then how does initiation work? Because wouldn't we all have the upper hand by default? But we. Yeah, 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 so essentially, um, they'll be, they'll, you guys will get surprised, right? Like, basically, you'll still roll initiation, right? But on the enemy's turn, if they don't know you're there, they're just gonna go about what they were doing, right? So let's say, like, you guys are sneaking up on some bandits, right? I would, if you decide to expose yourselves, right? I will call initiative, but they'll be unaware. You know how, like, in video games, like, there's the eye above their head? It'll be like a closed eye, basically, right? So you'll still get your surprise attacks, right? You'll still get advantage on your attack. But the moment that you attack a guard that's in sight of other guards, they'll notice you. You're right. So, so anybody, basically, you'll enter combat hidden in stealth, basically. And until you do something, right, or they net notified or something, you're still in stealth, but you'll still get initiative. So let's say you go first and you don't do anything, and then the, uh, the bandit goes next, he might go over and cook something on his... Um, his fire or something, you know what I mean? He go, he'll just, I'll just have them do normal things, right? But it'll still be combat. Okay. You'll still have your stealth advantage. You'll still get advantage and stuff until you break advantage. Which is, of course, attacking or doing something crazy. You know, like blowing something up or making any sound. Um, so, so Ben and I wouldn't be able to plan to attack at the same time then? You can. You can, um, if you remember, one of your, um, actions is ready in action basically you say okay i'm gonna hold my action i'm gonna ready it and when it's ben's turn i'll attack with him uh... and so you'll both get advantage i mean because you'll still be in stealth already so you'll get advantage. so you guys could both do a dual sneak attack basically so, so everyone can on their turn ready in action yeah 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 readying in action is a normal mechanic right like let's say that you guys are all on this door, right? And there's a mo there's a guard or a monster on the other side, right? You guys gonna be like, okay, we're gonna ready our actions. The moment the guard walks through the door, we all attack. When he does that, right? You guys all roll your attack rolls, and simultaneously, four people attack someone. That's how. That why, works. why have we never done this? You only just know. got it. <laughs> no, you guys never just got it. Although he's oh, on by his veil. 
the, the veil, the magic you guys just got, but like yeah. readying an action is a thing. You guys had stealth this entire time. Oh, yeah. And I think I remember explaining it to at the beginning of um, the campaign. I went through all of the actions. So, yeah. Dude. Um, <coughs> um, what's closer, Jarzinka's or the potion makers? Jarzinka's um, is pretty back. Pretty sure the blue towards... water inn is directly center of... Yeah, here, I'll move you guys back to the map if that's where you're headed, but I'm... The blue water inn is in smack dab in the middle of the lack. The blue water in smack down. All right, Jerzinka's or the potion maker shop. Let's go check Jerzinka's first, and we can make our way around and head to the potion shop. Okay. Yeah. So you guys make your way. I'm just gonna montage this. It takes about 20 minutes to just walk to Jerzinka's. Um, what time of the day is it? Um, now it's about 6:30, 7 p.m. Um, so it is dark now. Um, and you guys make your way over to Jerzinka. Give me one second. Um, for my yeah. long strider spell, it says at higher levels. That doesn't apply to me, right? At higher levels? Yeah, because we are not spellcasters. We don't get higher levels. Yeah, no. That's what I asked him about my invisibility. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So... Can you hand me a squish my note? Um, cause I was thinking sure? before we yeah. get to wherever these vampires might be, um... Uh, yeah, Jersey and Cass, yep. So the yeah, Taylor using my path without trace. Um, and it, making sure we're all covered by that. Okay, sure. So, you guys, there. give me one sec. So, yeah, so you guys arrive at Jarzinka's place. Um... Alright, so you guys arrive at Jarzinka's. Um, I moved you to over here because um, the door is right there. Um, you you can't you don't see any openings um, at all, like other than door. The, the the windows to the um, the shop seem to be closed by blinds, um, and you can't really see into the shop. Um, and then as you walk sort of like around the shop, uh, everything seems to just be shuttered and closed. Um, if you try the door. Which, by the way, uh, this because of this feature, you're able to basically click on the door and see that it has a lock on it. So the door is locked. You guys find that the door is locked. Um, and yeah. What do you want to uh, do? So, so wait, I... before you guys go in, um, Decca said he wanted to cast his um, Pass Without a Trace. Um, <coughs> well, you want to cast it here? Are we able to get a peek inside? Uh, I would knock um, at the door and see if at... like, yeah, is there a window nothing, nearby I can nothing. try? Oh, so these, look at what look at what's happened to this place. It's all sealed up. Um, no the, the, two the two windows are shut. Like there there seems to be curtains covering the window or Everything's something. Covered. It's blocking your view. Yeah, is there any way to use like uh, these tools to, to pry I was it going to it. go stealth and use a thieves tool to unlock the door. She wants to knock first. Oh well, I mean if Yeah, what do you guys want to do? If you want to um, unlock the door, but the thing is that it's Jerzinka's place, so it might be like magic. So. Well, then check and see if there's a spell on the door. Go ahead, Give roll for Arcana if you want to see if you can like maybe sense magic <coughs> coming off it. All right. Um, you do remember, uh, Arcana only gives you a general sense of magic in an area. It doesn't give any sort of specific sense of magic. Uh, so yeah, gotcha. so there's definitely magic somewhere emanating from inside the building. It's very sort of murky. So Arcana, she... I double checked the, the rules. Arcana is a sense of magic or a sense of like understanding of magic, right? The tech okay. magic will tell you precisely if there's magic there or not. Gotcha. That's a spell. So yeah, so yeah, you get a sense that there might be something magical. Um, the door itself has a tinge of um, Jarzinka's sort of magic touch on it, but you can't really tell what else is on it. There's magic, Ben. It's a magic shop. What do you expect? It's not a magic shop. It's, very it's a magic shop. People aren't supposed to know that. Then knock. Right here. Uh, knocking, or we should probably do this quietly, right? I agree. Well, if Indeed. there's a vampire, we could all get ready to attack whatever comes through the door after she knocks. Okay. Do you want to be in stealth and hide? 
like you want to press yourselves up against the sides of the wall, or are you just standing there? Yes, I do. Could I press my ear against the door? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, would I? What would I roll for that? That would uh, roll perception. Okay. So perception is for figuring something out that you don't know is there or not. Okay. What do you roll? I rolled for stealth that's, to that's go up against the wall. Okay, so Ben has a thirteen. Lori, with a perception of twenty. Give me one second here. So, why is Jerzinkas? That's a solid roll. That is a pretty solid roll. Um, cool. Yeah, you hear movement inside. Can't really tell what kind of movement it is, but there's sounds like shuffling. Some fabric or something is maybe moving around. It sounds very, very muffled. All right, guys, what do, do you want me to knock on the door? I mean, if we can hear something moving inside the door, we might as well knock. <coughs> as soon as we open the door, we lock the key. Why is there gonna no? Um, Irina's gonna crouch while you discuss that and sort of like <clears throat> get into stealth. She's gonna like press herself around the corner. I'm stealth as well. Go ahead and knock. Okay. All right. Well, I knock. I guess. Wait, wait, wait! I need a stealth. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and roll stealth, Jekka. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll we'll do a collective stealth roll. So I'll average all of this. Um, and go ahead, uh, Lori. You should probably roll stealth too. Okay. I'm a godsend. <laughs> this is gonna be average. But that'll help Damn, boost the average. Stealth. Go ahead and roll stealth. Rip. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I boosted the average. I mean, I'm trying. I'm not trying to be stealth. I'm knocking right, on the average door. <laughs> of, uh, average of seventeen. Cool. Um. You hear the movement stop. Moonchild. And for and as you just like kind of press your ear against it, you don't hear any movement at all. I am gonna roll two. Announce who it is because it's everything good. Spider Man's coming through the window, I know it. Huh? So announce who we are. Zerzinka, it's uh, it, we're, we're the travel. it's Moonchild, and, and Ben, and, uh, we, we're just trying to make sure you're okay. Right. Um, as you hear that, you hear a set of footsteps th -th 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 retreating away. This one's a little bit more obvious. I picked the door. You pick it, or you You're, pick what, 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 what? Pick. I'm, um, lock okay, picking. Okay, alright. Ben, ben why? Ben said don't pick the door. Because she ran away, right? The, the footsteps ran away? Uh, it seems to be retreating really? for No, you don't hear that. You never roll perception. Okay. Sorry. So, uh, so they're like, off. they're like leaving? You, Moonchild, you hear a set of footsteps retreating, like going away. Oh! With a thief's tool of 18, you break one of your lockpicks. Go ahead and delete that thief's tool. Fine. I'm glad I have a second one. Um, and it's. It Shatters and you failed. You could try again, but you broke that one. Okay. I Wait, what did he have to do with disadvantage? Since there's probably magic on it. Hey, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> Ryan's face. Oh. <laughs> I said that you sense magic in the general area. Okay. Decca, it's your turn. You pick the lock. Okay. All right, I was just. You have a master. Oh, don't worry. I I have all the notes. Huh? I, it's I, I'm legitimate. It's it's there. Don't worry. Yeah, I just Dega. need a lock picking master, you say? What is your what's your uh bo boost it on it? Mine's a seven. This is an eight. This time Best cap. successfully unlocks the um door. Yours is only one higher than mine, Decca. I don't want to open it. Uh you wanna go first, Ben? Who's going first? I'll go Who's first. Who wants to go in first? I go I, I have the highest stealth. Like you... <laughs> we we oh, are you averaging do. your group if you guys are all moving. Forward. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. I'll go first. So we'll work. Oh, okay, okay, so as you enter the room and stealth in, uh, you guys get about here. I'm going to say, well, I'll stop you guys getting about. Whoops, I moved the door. My bad. Right here. 
Um, give me one second. You click the lock that you say at right, right angle. So the lock unlocks. You enter addressing the shop, and you enter a quiet, darkened building. The mannequins cast these very unnerving silhouettes against the window and walls, and that's when you spot an individual cloaked in black, in a black cloak, grabbing piles of clothes and shoving them into a knapsack. You see dresses and robes kind of like peeking out of the knapsack, and you see in her other hand is another knapsack, and she quickly shoulders on one of the backpack. Um, as she does that, uh, part of her cloak drops, and you can see these long white hair drop dropping down behind her back. And she doesn't seem to notice you at the moment with your current um, stealth checks. So you guys are, I'm going to assume that you guys are like crouched and having covered behind the, um, the counter, basically, like right um, here. What is on the counter? Nothing. It seems oh. whoever this woman was picked the counter clean. You. Uh, ben, do we want to talk to her or kill her? Um, as you guys are trying to make your decision, I'll give you guys, we can pretend this is like a quick split second decision, right? Because you can tell that she's moving. Uh, and okay. as you guys we are around the water. Should, should we go with, I mean, she's stealing, yeah. Moonshot, okay. with your perception check, you hear the crack of a window probably coming from the other room. All right, I, I, I have charge in. The rustling of um, curtains or something. Moving. I'm running in. I'm, oh, okay. No, 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 I, bad. Too late. Okay, ben runs in. <laughs> Idiot. As soon as you sprint forward, Ben, you get out of cover. Your footsteps make very light noises. But as you get close to her, the woman seems to sense you. She turns around, snaps her head back behind you, and she goes, There's more! Split, split! She says in a very, like, thick Borovian accent. Sorry, let me redo that. There's more! Split, split! And then she, as she goes to sprint out of the room, Ben, go tackle. ahead and roll me athletics or acrobatics. Wait, are you trying to catch her, like tackle her? Yeah, I'll tackle her. What are you trying to do? Okay, go ahead, roll me athletics or acrobatics to see if you can reach her before she like slips out of the room. So this is like a very like it's like almost a quick time, right? She's ben, turning, you, grabbing you, both you of her knapsacks, trying to move. Okay. Eighteen. Nice. Okay, sweet. You tackle her to the ground as uh. Both of you crash against the wall here. One of the backpacks slips and slides. Um, I'm gonna write out the words so you guys can see. Right here, back. Pack. Check the rest of the rooms. I, 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 I run in and I grab the backpack. Go ahead and... Uh, we're going to... Yeah, okay, so Ben, you're, you're on top of this woman. And so she has one backpack in her hand and another backpack, the other back, oh, that's blood. He's dead! <laughs> no, the other backpack is in her hand. Um, and so you can say it's like right there. Um, this backpack slides over here. Moonchild, you sprint forward. Go ahead and roll me a, just a normal out. dexterity check to see if you can get to the backpack and also spot the person at the same time. Dexterity spot the other person on the other side at the same time. Where's that? Dex Dex just, uh, dexterity just click dex. The... Oh. Just a dex check. Rip. Cause you're not doing it you're just trying to be quick on your feet Rip. you slide forward and you pick up the backpack just as you n spot a, a cloaked figure you're unsure who or what whether it's a he or she and is scrambling out the window making a break into the street sprinting off so this one is gone i kind of saw a figure right here but not really um, Ben, you're on top of this female. You can see that she is the shade of an elf, but a much darker shade than any elves you've seen before. Um, in fact, her skin is very similar to the skin tone of Anya Travali. Um, you guys never asked what kind of elf she was, but just for someone mentioned knowledge, it. she's a dusk elf. Yeah, I want to say so someone the backpack. Um, she's holding a kid. Top, yeah, she, she's like gripping it tight to her side. But, like, Ben is kind of, like, pinning her onto the ground. And, and I want to tie her up a little bit. She says, uh, she says to you, Get off of me! Who the frack are you? I just, I'm just going to tie her up. What? I'm tying her up with the rope. Her Go ahead and roll and me. Uh, well, arms. you're grappling her. You need to succeed on the grapple check. She is going to try to break out of your grapple. 
I need uh, another athletics. Yes. Okay, you have to roll athletics, yeah. But she gets to roll actual bad. Fifteen. Seventeen, not bad. Seventeen. Okay, you manage to pin her to the time, and she does. She she isn't able to squirm, but it 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 takes you. It takes both of your hands to pin her to the ground. You probably can't tie her up. They can tie her up. You rolled a six. I'm going for the backpack. She's holding it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's on her <laughs> side. You you've got her pinned down. I can still go for the backpack. Yeah. So, um, Deca, with a yank, you pull the backpack out of her grip, and she curses in a. Oh, she curses in Elvish. Yeah. So you. And Decca understand her curse. She basically goes, "Motherfucker, give me that." I'm gonna run this way with it. What'd she say? Okay, you run this way with the backpack, and you meet Irina, who who goes, "What happened?" <coughs> uh, Why? You... Go okay. help Ben. He's in that room. Right. Okay. Um, Irina enters the room, and you, you, she sees a, a Ben trying his hardest to pin down a very squirmy female. Irina, tie her up. Right, okay. Uh, uh, does she even have rope in her backpack? I don't know. Go I have the bag of holding. I just threw it. It's okay, like so a dirt bag. Okay, you slide the bag over the rope to her, <laughs> and she takes 10 feet of rope um, and ties up this coat. Okay. Cool. All right, so she's the, 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 the woman, the elf, is now considered uh, restrained. I am looting this chest and the backpack. <laughs> Why are you stealing from Jarzinko? <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity to do it. What no, do she's a good person. Um, okay, so you loot that chest and you don't find anything in it. You get a sense that it's probably whatever is in there is probably in the back. <laughs> okay, I open that. I take the backpack. No, you can- what? Uh... I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm- what the- <laughs> You're not hiding from me? I ran away. How do you I'm right here? here. Um, as- As you guys are arguing back and forth, the dust elf looks at the two women in front of her and goes, Ah, so I see that you're too clearly are the brains of the operation. <laughs> Because those oh. are, wow, they are <laughs> mess over there. Decided, stealth didn't matter. No ready checks. 